Okay, well this is the next covert theft or covert heist mission. I'm not sure which. This one's almost an hour. Soup recharging. Soup fully charged. And I'm going to totally avoid shooting anybody. I'm really proud of that. Uh, this is right at the beginning, right after I got into the ship. I'm, I'm sure... This is one of these uh, settlements where you've got a big residential area on one side. That's where I'm headed now. And then on the other end, you've got all the industrial stuff. So I, on these, I like to land right in the middle because there's some little outbuildings there in the middle. And there's a chance there'll be a monitor in one of those that I can hack. In this case, there was not. I might turn one up later. Uh, the residential area that I'm going into here, this is almost certainly the wrong way to go. The thing I'm supposed to steal is, is most definitely not going to be over here, but I figure, uh, well, on this kind of a layout, the, the security may be a little lighter on over here at this end where all the habitats are. And it's possible I might be able to pick up a pass from one of these researcher guys. Like that guy, but he's only level one. You don't often get visitors here. Yeah. That on the other hand is a guard. That's the kind of thing I'm trying to avoid. So this end of the this end of the place what are you up to? isn't looking so great. There's a monitor. But with these NPCs walking around it like that, I can't really hack that because they would notice it. So this end, of, this end of the settlement's not looking so great for me. I'm still hanging around this guy, thinking maybe I'll take his his level one pass off of him. But I got to avoid that guard, of course. I've got a bounty on me at this point, so I can't really afford to mess with guards at all. It's good that I've got both those guys on the mini-map. <laughs> I'm kind of giving up on the, on getting that guy's level one pass. I'm gonna, I'm, kinda, I'm gonna kinda go around the, the residential area a little bit and see if there's anything else out here that I can use. Just to get through this mission. There's the researcher again. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to get his pass off of him. I'm checking the mini-map. That guard's not around right here. There he is. Can't get in the hab. It's level one. Oh, that's another researcher. Never mind. Yeah, I'm going to get his pass off him. Security profile cloned. And put that thing away as quick as possible. Because they will freak out if they see you walking around with that. And I still can't get in the tab because it's got those restricted area things in them. Restricted areas are not a good deal. You can deal, you can get through them, but you don't want to spend a whole lot of time in those. Don't want to go into a restricted area unless you have to, and then get out of it as quick as possible. There's nothing in there. Yeah, the thing I'm supposed to steal, I'm pretty sure it's not in there. There's really no need to be down here at the end of this place at all. Okay, here's an outbuilding with a monitor in it. This is pretty much exactly what I've been looking for. This kind of setup... The guards are typically not run, doing doing their rounds in through here, so you can pretty much hack these with impunity. 
I'm still paranoid about it. I'm gonna sit here and watch for a couple seconds to see if I can see if there's any guards or scouts or anybody roaming around who might wander in there. But it's I don't. It's not. I've never seen that happen. It's not likely. The white arrow on the mini map is just that flying drone. He's nothing to worry about unless you set the alarms off and then you have to shoot him down. There's somebody walking around over there on the left. But I don't think he's likely he's coming over here. Okay, well, I guess I'm happy. I'm going to go in there. Nope, nobody around. And there's your hack terminal. Yeah, you might as well take it. You've already got a bounty on you. Just, you know, if you get caught, you're caught. That's it. Might as well pick up whatever you see. Okay, well. Yeah, the, uh, the settlement alarms are in the power plant. That's one of the places they turn up. And the power plant's going to have a level three clearance on it, so getting in there might be a hard, might be a problem if I can't get a level three clearance. The thing I'm looking for is supposed to be in one of the agricultural production buildings. There it is, sample containment unit one. And if it's in a sample containment unit, that means I'm going to have to turn the alarms off. I know that from experience. I know that I know that NPCs will freak out over these hacked terminals, but that's just from people telling me that. I know from experience that opening a, a sample containment unit, I don't know if it always sets off alarms, but it definitely set off alarms at the one time I did that, so... It looks like I've got some kind of glitch with my recording thing. I probably need to clean the cables or something. There's that same garden. Is it the same one? I have no idea. As long as they stay over there, I'm good. There's my objective, the little blue dot. That is the thing I'm supposed to steal. using the flashlight I guess I feel like it breaks the immersion or something but it doesn't make any difference they you know as long as you stay up stay up on top of something where they can't reach you they're gonna ignore you anyway and if you stay a little bit outside the outskirts of the of the of the, uh, of the settlement they're gonna ignore you more or less These kind of structures here tend to have guards on top of them, so I'm going to be a little bit careful here. Is that the one? Maybe. No, it's not this structure. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't think so.
Suit's gonna charge up the suit, that's all. Suit recharging. Suit fully charged. Yeah, I'm checking out the keypad. Now, it used to be when I hacked a terminal. It used to be when I hack a terminal. Then whenever I went up to one of them keypads on a locker, the locker would show me the combination. It doesn't seem to be doing that anymore. Maybe that's something that changed in the update. That's too bad. It just means that I'd have to write down all those numbers again. Yeah, that's the structure that usually has a guard on top of it. I'm not seeing one of them now. Uh, the architecture in this place is, um, I guess you could call it procedurally generated. It's a lot of copy and paste stuff. But, but there's, there's generally variations in one, from one instance to another. Okay, so this is what they're calling the Agricultural Production Building. Sometimes they call these things that, apparently, and sometimes the Agricultural Production Building refers to the big boxy structure that, uh, that's off to the side there. Anyway, the sample containment unit I'm in here is actually in here. It's right in here. It's right there. It's right next to a door. I could walk in there now. I could probably walk in there right now. But I'm not going to because, yeah, I'm pretty sure if I just walked in there and, and, and opened that thing right now, it would definitely set off an alarm and I would immediately fail a mission. So that would not be a good idea. I'm going to have to turn off the alarms. I'm hoping to find somebody in here with a level three clearance. Sometimes you find him wandering around inside these dome things, but sometimes you don't. Like I said, they, they repeat these same uh, these same architectures and forms from one from one map to the next but there's but there's variations on them on each one so you pretty much just just have to go in there and see what's going on with this one <coughs> there's the power building now I know that I know the security alarm is in the power building I'm not even gonna bother to mark it on the map the question is how do I get into the power building on a lot of maps, the power building, they'll just be, it'll just be by itself, it'll have its own little doors. This does not look like that kind of setup. This looks like one of those setups where the power building is attached to a bigger building, and you have to go through the bigger building, go through a bunch of internal passages to get to the, po to get to the power building. There is a researcher. He's only level one, but I'm worried about him, because I don't really know where he's going. All these NPCs, they have their own little, they have their own little, um, their own little circuit that they travel. They've got their own little rounds that they do, and pretty much have to sit here and watch them to 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 establish what their rounds are. He's going in through that other door. That bothers me. What bothers me is that his rounds may involve going into that other dome. And if he goes in there, then that means that when I go in here to open this sample containment unit, there's a chance he's going to wander in and freak out. So I'm waiting to see if he comes in through here. I'm not going to see him. I think later on I see where there is actually an NPC that does exactly that, that wanders through here from time to time. But I never, I never saw him to establish his route. Or at least I never spent the time required to figure out what his route was.
I just decided to skip this for now and, and uh, try to figure out how to get into that power building. Because that's my major problem right now. Yeah, I can see the power building is one of these deals where, where it's connected to a bigger building. I'm going to have to get through this bigger building to get in there. Yeah, it's another one of these. This is this is what they usually call the agricultural production building. I guess they consider the domes part of that. I'm not seeing anybody down there I can scan. I'm pretty much going to have to get a level 3 scan to get into that power building once I can once I can figure out how to get into it. There's a guy standing over there. He's level two, which isn't good enough, but it'd probably be worthwhile grabbing that, grabbing his idea, except, yeah, there's a guard, so I can't afford to hang around here. There's often somebody that wanders around in this area and they might be high enough, to, they might be close enough to where I can grab their ID. But I'm not seeing anybody up here this time. start looking for doors. I'm feeling kind of desperate. Oh, here we go. This is a level three, and he's close. Yeah, this I can, I can grab his ID for sure. Where he's standing right now, that'd be a good place to do it. I'm not going to do it on this pass, but he's going to, he's going to, he's going to, he's going to repeat this routine over and over. So all I have to do is get in position and wait for him to come around again. Yep, I'm just gonna get my little scanner out. I've got this little dot on my screen now. I can just wait for him to come around. This, this is really why this, this is really why these often take me so long. Is because scanning is scanning is risky. You want to look around before you before you do it, just to make sure there's no other NPCs behind you, because they will definitely freak out if they see you doing this. Okay, he's coming back now. Yep, there he is. He's going to sit there and think a few scientific thoughts or whatever the hell he's doing. Yep, he's looking right at you. He's looking right at me. He knows I'm here. And go over to the right, and yeah, that's where he stands there for a few seconds. So I'm just gonna grab his ID. Security profile cloned. Get out of sight, put this thing away. Alright. And there he goes. And that is the power room, also. And that is the power. And that is the power room. This is where I'm trying to get into. I just need to find a way to get into it. I'd really like to find a to find a door directly into it, but I don't think there is one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through this. I'm gonna have to go through all this internal passageway stuff. Okay. 
I'm looking, there's, but there's, yeah, there's just no doors. Yeah, I'm looking at that other building, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to have to go through all that. Pretty sure that's what I'm gonna have to do. Well, with this kind of a building, there's basically one good entrance, and then the other two are gonna have guards next to them, so. I thought there would be a door over here, but there is not. I could go through the doors and the habitats also, but I want to avoid that because I know there's a restricted area in between there that I'd have to go through, and I try to avoid those too. I'd really rather not go through that. That might be what I have to do, though. If I wanted to take that route, I'd have to go in through that door right in front of me. Yeah, see, there's 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 a researcher walking out there. So when I go to when I go to open that sample containment unit, I'm gonna have to worry about that guy walking in on me. And I could go in through that way. But either way, I gotta go through this middle section and I can see that there's a restricted area right there, so I'd have to go through that either way I went in. But that might be what I have to do. I really don't want to do any of this. <coughs> yeah, I'm just going to start looking for doors anywhere else. Maybe there's a better option. There's another guard. I'm going to kneel down so I can don't have to worry about him so much. Not seeing any doors. Probably has an entrance over there to the right. That would be this way.
this entrance, there's usually not so many guards. As always, you run into variations, so... Just gonna have to be, uh, just crouch down and be furtive and scuttle around. Entering pressurized environment. There's a monitor. Those are nice to know about. Gonna just rush in there. Don't see any guards around. There, there's usually no. Well, I won't say never. You never know. See this? Look, this just looks. This looks just like the area I was in on the last mission. Except this time, there's no. There's no power. There's no power plug on the wall, and that sample containment unit isn't there. I don't think. Still not seeing any guards. There's a restricted area. Don't like that. If I knew this layout better, I'd know exactly which way to go to to get to the power room, but I'm kind of just feeling my way around it right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's back. I'm pretty sure I got to go through this restricted area. And out through that other door, and I'm hoping the restricted area ends at that other door. I don't actually... I'm not for sure that it does, but I'm pretty sure it probably does. Of all the places in the galaxy you chose to come, why are you so close? I'm just going to go here and uh, Change my bookmark so that it points to the uh, to the to the alarms console. I'm going to use that to navigate in on it because I already know where the uh, sample containment unit is. I think that's where I came in at, probably. Okay. Yeah, the zone ends over there, but does it end on that side? Because I don't mind running through this one room being restricted. I can get away with that, but if the restricted area extends beyond that point, I don't know why it would, but if, if it did, I'd be, I wouldn't really want to run through there quite so eagerly. Yeah, it ends right there. It ends at the other door. Good. I'm going to wait till she passes me by so that uh, her back is to me when I run through here. Entering restricted area. Leaving that restricted came from the restricted area. area. That was not good. 
Amazingly, that guard did not stop me. You can see him turning around with his long gun out. I, yeah, that's the closest I came to blowing this mission right there. If, if he had spotted me, it most likely would have been, been all over right there at that point, because I don't have the alarms down. Yeah, I would have had to kill him. Well, I've got him on my map now, and I don't know if he's looking for me or what he's doing. I don't think he is. He's not yellow or red, so that's good. I'm just watching his dot move around on my mini-map. I'm hoping he's just doing his usual rounds. So I'm going to sit here and observe what his movements are so I can time, so I can time myself to, uh, to get past to wherever it is I need to be going right now. I don't think he's looking for me. I'm just going to nose around the corner like the huge coward that I am. Oh, there he is. Ah. Yeah, if he didn't notice me there, that would have been bad also. But he doesn't he's not coming this way. Oh, he's up on that top level is where he is. And he's coming down the stairs. No, he's standing on the landing up up above me. And now he's going to come down the stairs. I don't know what he's doing. I'm just waiting for him to show up again, because I know he's up there. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's going to stop right there and stare off to the right for a couple seconds. Now he's going to turn around and walk down that hallway. Yep, there he goes. And he's going to stop right there. And then he's going to turn around and come back. Maybe I didn't have him. Maybe I did not have him on my mini map. I've definitely got him on my mini map now. That's what I needed. And he's stopping right there. And he's going to go off to the left. Go up the stairs. And I should be able to run right down that hallway, which is generally the direction I need to go in. Yeah, he's up above me now. So I'm going to go through this door. And immediately hide. In case he comes running after me, but I don't think he will. All through this, this is what I'm doing, is I'm running in little side corridors and hiding and waiting to see if anybody's coming after me, because... Because if I get scanned, yeah, if I get scanned, it's all over. I don't want to open that door to the, to the left, but I definitely want to get through the one on the right, and I'm going to have to get through another restricted area. And I don't know what's on the other side of that door. It's just the lab, so there's probably not any guards. I hope.
Well, there's a scientist in there. It's probably the same as the last one. The guard I just snuck past is heading up the stairs. I'm just working up the uh, I'm just working up the courage to get over there and go through the door. I'm not sure how long that's going to take me. Okay. Just do a slow scan, no guards. The alarms console I'm looking at, looking for, is directly in front of me, so it's in that direction. And that door is marked POW, so that's definitely the door I need to go through. And the restricted area ends at that door, so that's another good thing. I'm going to wait for this guy to walk past me so his back is to me when I run through here. immediately hide. I feel like this hiding place is insufficiently remote. Okay. I'm thinking I have to go into this room, but actually the console I'm looking for is right there. So that's a nice piece of luck, and it's a level one console, which is Interesting, but not us not useful at this point. So yeah, I've got the alarms turned off. I can I can heave a sigh of relief. Except all I have to do now is sneak all the way back through there. There's some stuff I could have stole. I completely missed that. I'm just looking for stuff to steal now. Well, I'd also like to find a power outlet. This is the guy I got my level 3 clearance off of. Back up a bit, would you? Suit recharging. Suit fully charged. Oh. I don't need to go in there. If I was going to kill everybody and steal the core and all that good stuff, then I would then I could go in there, but no, that's I've already got a bounty on my head. Don't get many new faces around here. I'm hoping Why are you that so close? I'm hoping there's another way out of here, but this all this does is go back to where I came from. that same lab I just ran through. There's a uh, Don Snow, I think his name is. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through there. Just keep walking, Don.
Whoop, 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 No, I didn't see anybody. Okay, now I just gotta get past that other guard again. I'm looking for his little dot. I think that's it right there. That should be him. He's up on the landing there while he's headed this way. Yeah. He's coming to his point of nearest approach. He's pausing there. And now he's going the other way. Which means his back is turned. That's a good thing. He's going to stop there. And he's going to hang a right. I don't want him to see me. I'm going to sneak in behind him. And make a dash for my hiding place. I could probably have snuck in right behind him and ducked in the door, and but uh, that that would be more risk than I'm willing to take. Although the way I, the way I, the way the way he surprised me the first time, it's probably something you could do. I'm looking directly at him now, and you can just see his legs there. But I didn't notice it at the time. Otherwise, I would have got behind something. Okay, he's coming back around now. There's that glitch again. Coming down the stairs. Yep, there. Oh, God. I hate peeking around the corner and they're looking in this direction. That's very close to failure there. Very close. Very close. Too close. Okay. Up the stairs. Gotta go straight through a restricted area. Don't fool around. Just go. Because that guard's going to be coming up behind you here in a second. They never even saw me. I was like the wind. I really don't feel like taking any of this stuff. I have no idea what's going to go on. I know the alarms are off, but I still don't want to do it. Okay. Yeah, see, it used to be when I'd hack a terminal, I'd get the I'd get the combination right there. It would show them to you, but it's not doing it now. They might have changed that with the last update. That would be horribly unfair. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and change my bookmark back to show the sample containment unit. I know where it is, but... Oh, there's 
somebody right out there. That's probably a guard. I can't believe I've had to do like, oh god, it's, it feels like I've done like, it feels like, a good, it feels like I've done at least 15 of these. It can't be that many though. <laughs> I think there must be some ambiguity with the requirements for meeting Terra Velasquez because I'm pretty sure I've done at least 10 or 12 of these. From what I've read about it, I think the most likely thing is that you have to get you have to get six six covert heist and you have to get six covert thefts. You have to do six of each. That's my guess at this point. And my guess at this point is that I just don't have six of one or the other, but I don't know which because the game does not tell you how many of these missions you've done. Okay. Well, this part should be easy. All I have to go is all I have to do is go down through this door. I'm pretty sure there's nobody there. No guards anyway. <laughs> yeah, there's nobody around. I'm just making sure. Let me turn around and look at it from this point. Yeah, there's nobody here. Okay. I could just go over there and trigger it. But I remember seeing that researcher walking out the other door of this dome. And I'm concerned that somebody's going to come wandering through here. And I'm not sure what direction they'd be coming from. There's nobody in there. or what the timing of their movements might be. But the longer I wait, the more certain it is that somebody will come wandering through here. So while I sit here and fidget and look around for things to steal, the coast does appear to be clear. Okay, we're in the home stretch. All I gotta do is hang tight. I'm gonna get up my zapper here. In case I have to kill anybody, I can make a quiet job out of it, I hope. I see some dots over there. They don't seem to be heading in this direction, I hope.
those sample containment units, they take a hell of a long time to open up. It's all totally on purpose, of course. Frontier does this to you. This seems risky to me. I'm thinking about getting those downloads, but yeah, it does seem risky. It's getting there. Oh yeah, it's real close now. Still no sign of those meddling scientists. Simple, right? Yeah, I'm getting the downloads. This still seems risky to me. I'm not sure that getting these downloads is a good idea. feeling pretty safe. I don't think there's anybody around here at all. Yeah, it's not going to show me the numbers anymore. They definitely got rid of that. That's that's annoying. No, it's not going to show you the numbers. Keep quit just give up on it. No, I don't want to go in there. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew there was one of these little bastards. I wasn't sure what set him off the first time, but I couldn't really hear what he was saying. But he said somebody's been tampering with the system, so I think he I think he spotted the sample containment unit had been opened. I'm thinking that's what he saw. He reacted too damn fast though, I'm surprised. Okay. Well, that was a that was a long slog, you know. And I really, 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 really hope I can finally get clearance to go meet Terra Velasquez, and then I will never, ever, ever do another one of these missions again. Because my God, I have never worked so hard for a lousy level three mission in my life.
These are quite challenging, though. Sometimes. Sometimes they're easy. Sometimes they're ridiculously difficult. Landing gear retracted. That's all I got. Have a good day.